Let's take just a couple of minutes and talk about the air or vacuum relief valve. All this is is basically a very simple device, has a little o-ring on the bottom, and this is a half inch threaded piece here, and we put this on a PVC fitting, and what happens is, is when your drip zone is under pressure, this is pushed out and it seals up and allows the zone to work as normal. When the pressure drops below a certain point, this disengages and allows an air vent to happen here. And what that does is allow water to drain out the lowest drip emitter or the flush valve or, or whatever that you have as provision for water to drain out your drip line. Now, we don't need to use this for check valve products because basically a check valve traps the water in the section of drip line for efficiency sake and so forth. So this would be completely ineffectual, but if we're using a drip line without check valves that may possibly freeze or need to be drained or flushed, then we need to put one of these on here. What happens sometimes if you have your drip line either in a subsurface you know, meaning four, six inches underground, or maybe you just have it covered with a fine mulch, uh, maybe a triple ground hardwood mulch or something that's already decomposing and may get sucked backwards into the drip emitters. Because what happens is when a zone shuts off and you start having water drain out the, the lowest drip emitter on the zone, it causes a vacuum to happen and it may pull debris back into the drip line through the different drip emitters if you don't have this installed. Now a check valve drip line product won't do that. That's one of the reasons that we use check valve products in subsurface installations. But if you're not doing that and it's on the surface installation, you probably need this to release that air or that vacuum that's happening in there and allow it to drain out. Now we'll want to locate this device, hopefully at the, the highest point in the zone, which physically gives it the best chance to drain, but also if there's a chance to put this centrally located between the lateral lines or even on a exhaust header, that would be a great place to put it, just so that it gives a chance for everything to drain out. Now, there also may be some alterations to your calculations when using a vacuum relief valve. Now, the maximum flow per um, zone may be altered. And when I went to look at the specifications for this particular product, the literature indicates that six gallons per minute is the maximum flow that we'd want to use with this vacuum relief valve. Now, when we're designing a drip zone using half inch tubing, we really want to keep our maximum flow rate down to four gallons per minute. When you look at a friction loss chart for polyethylene pipe or tubing in the, the one half inch column, it gives four gallons per minute as the maximum recommended flow rate before you get into high friction loss and so forth. So four gallons per minute is pretty much what we want to keep our uh, residential like commercial systems uh, you know, designed for four gallons per minute, but this one can go up to six gallons per minute. I just want to throw that out there as a caveat, something to watch out for. And also there's going to be a limit on the maximum length of a lateral line. So this, uh, this device may alter your calculations a little bit and how you lay out your zone. So definitely check with the literature for the particular product that you're using and uh, make sure that you calculate all this stuff on the front end so that you don't get into trouble and install a bunch of stuff that don't work. Okay, now there's a couple of different types of these, and this is kind of additional information if you're a typical residential like commercial irrigation contractor, you're not going to get into these other kinds. This is more for advanced agricultural. But basically what you have here is a, a kinetic device. It's also called a vacuum breaker or a large orifice air valve. But there's also an automatic release type of valve that you'll see in agricultural situations. Those are also known as pressure relief valves or air release valves. And then there's an even more complicated version of it, which is a combination. It uses a, an automatic and a kinetic uh, device inside of it. 
I've never seen one in the field because I don't get involved with huge agricultural products. But, um, you know, if you get out there and get more advanced of this, you may see some of that. And that's the only reason I really throw that out there. But for the most part, the only thing that you'll ever see in the part supply houses is the half inch version of this vacuum breaker valve.